Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A real pleasure to be able to meet you virtually. Um, maybe you could just begin with a brief introduction to this incredible film. Um, what can audiences expect when they watch Goodnight Oppie? Hi, Sarah. Nice to meet you. Yes, uh, Goodnight Oppie is uh, the story of the two Mars rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, and it tells both the stories of the rovers, but also of their human creators. And I think it's a wonderful film. Uh, you'll learn about some of the science and some of the engineering, but you'll also learn a lot about just the love that it takes to make these missions work as well as they did. And of course, a lot of um, scientific research and um, advances made in space exploration. Most, you know, the general public don't know it's happening until it hits hits the headlines. So there must be something really special about um, this story, your story being kind of immortalized and so beautifully in a film like this. So how did you feel when they first came up with the idea and, and to see the finished product now? Oh gosh, I mean, I was just floored when I heard about this production and just the scope of what they were doing to tell this story. and. And, and so grateful that the story was going to be able to be told on such a scale. And then, yeah, seeing the film for the first time, like it was very emotional. Uh, and and I'm, it's so exciting to think that this is a story that will hopefully be able to be told to many, many people and hopefully inspire some of them to dream about adventures that we might still have yet to come. And of course, a film like this, you know, we're, we're learning about the existence of these rovers um, and, and what they were able to accomplish on Mars, but also learning about all these individuals that become characters in the story, you being one of them. And it's just amazing to see um, people's roots into becoming, you know, part of this team and how they were inspired, um, maybe by, uh, by you going along as, as a young student and then it becoming your career. Um, so, you know, wasn't, is that another really important part of this film? And hopefully it will transfer to the next generation as well. Absolutely. You know, one of the fa my favorite things about working in space exploration is everybody has a story. Everybody who's there has something that inspired them and a reason that they chose this somewhat unusual career path. And what's even more amazing is everyone's story is a little bit different and it, they come from all different places around the country and the world. And it's this wonderful team of diverse people who are united by this passion that they have that they got through an inspiration to explore space and, and answer some of the biggest questions I think we can have as humans. And it does kind of expand things out, you know, from it's not just about analyzing rocks and, and you know, it's just not, not just about the minutia of the data that's collected. There's such big questions, you know, what is going to be our future um, relationship with technology where we're mo most likely to have lots of robots? When we're thinking about the history of a planet like Mars, how does it tell us about the future of our own? So there's lots of big existential questions that come out of watching a film like this. Yeah, I'm so glad that gets conveyed. You know, it is when you're in something like this, easy to get lost in the details of, oh, this rock is 20% magnesium and this one's 30% iron. And, and what does that mean? And it's always wonderful to take a step back and remember why we're asking these questions and the really profound thing these kind of measurements can tell us. Also, the fact that you guys were like a family. And I love the fact that it almost becomes like a bit of a musical, the film, because of all the music you were playing. But, you know, first thing to wake up the robots. So was that just something kind of magic about about that whole world that you were in? Kind of this, this is your own little bubble, really. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean, first of all, the team's really close. You know, we're all working really hard on really hard problems that have never been solved before. And as you can imagine, that really bonds you. But the music was just an extra touch. And I'm so happy that it was highlighted in the film. I can't believe they found all of that archive footage of the songs. And, you know, to be honest, the music was a tradition that started when the rovers first landed. And then as the mission went longer and longer and longer, people kind of got tired of picking up songs and it kind of petered off. But when we lost Oppie after the dust storm, um, the team kind of had this wonderful idea, let's reinstate these wake-up songs because we know how special they are. And so, you know, for those last few months when we were commanding, trying to say, Oppie, are you there? Can you hear us? We would start every day with a wake-up song, bringing that back. And so it was this really nice full circle um, thing for us to do that was really special. Well, I think I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing all that with me. And I can't wait for everyone else to watch Goodnight Oppie. Thanks so much. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.